Hey guys, welcome to the new video of How to Ryan. To the ones who had watched our previous video, welcome back. And to those who are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe us and check us out for more upcoming videos. This video is made by the computer science group in Ryan and Friends. In this video, we would like to briefly introduce you guys about what you will learn in computer science type of programming language. So, let's start with what do computer science students study at first? When we think about computer science, most probably we will think of programming. However, there are still a lot of topics and specialization in computer science. Computer science is covering almost every software part in the computer field, such as database, networking, programming, cyber security, artificial intelligence, data analytics, and more. As you can see, there are many kinds of specialization in computer science. So, the choice to pick any of the specialization is based on your own interests. In today's society, there are many types of specializations in computer science. Therefore, in order to help you guys to understand this part easier, we have sought out three of the most common specializations in computer science field which is cyber and network security, programming and artificial intelligence. As stated, the first specialization is cyber and network security, where cyber security and network security are two different things, but still they are related. Cyber security is the study of how to protect our system from cyber attacks. Through cyber security, we can know how to improve the security of a system to prevent attacks from any attackers. Network security is the study of how to secure the computer network and data using both hardware and software system. The target of network security is to secure the confidentiality and accessibility of the data and network. We can take an example of the data that both securities are protecting. For cyber security, it will only protect the digital data that is being stored, while network security only protect the data that are being transmitting. In the programming specializations, this field is to study the types of programming language. Besides, we will also learn about solving algorithm and find a suitable solution to solve it. App and software development can be also learned in this field. Programming is also one of the specializations that is more attract to people in computer science field. After learning programming, students should be able to use the different principles in the programming to create their own program. Moving forward to the next specialization, this is something new to this era, but it's getting applied in more and more technologies and machines. And this is called artificial intelligence. So, what do you think is artificial intelligence? Basically, Artificial intelligence is a simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think like humans. Machines that are using artificial intelligence can be able to program them to have their own thinking and make their own decisions. We might have used some of the technology having artificial intelligence before, but we do not have this kind of the intelligence assisting in them. For example, Siri and Alexa, both of them are using artificial intelligence to help us when we are in need. Now today, self-driving technology that you can find in this feature on some car like Tesla is also using artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence let the vehicle to keep in the right lane and use different kind of sensor to help the vehicle observe their surrounding so the vehicle knows when to switch lane and what speed should it be driving. There are still many more machines can be applied with artificial intelligence and this job will be soon passed down to future generations. Before moving on, ever thought that programming look like this? Programming does not look like this at all and it's a lot simpler than you may think. Now, we are going focus on the different types of programming language as this one of the most fundamental part in computer science, which is programming. We may have heard of many kinds of programming language such as 
the most common one is HTML but today we are going to focus on four programming language these four programming language are divided into two categories which one of it use interpreter and the other ones use compiler let's start talking about what interpreter is interpreter is a program that convert high level language to machine codes to let the computer understand high level language are language that can be understand by human easily but not for computer because computer only understand binary therefore an interpreter can help us to let our computer know what we are programming an interpreter will translate one statement of the program at a time into machine code when an error is detected the interpreter will stop translating the program and indicate us that there is an error in that line of program one of the programming language that is using interpreter to run is javascript javascript is more like a scraping language for web page and more it is a prototype based language that allows us to implement complex features on web page we can use this language to update content control multimedia create animate image and so on However, JavaScript is not the same as Java as both have different syntax and usage. Next, the other programming language example that use interpreter is Python. We can use Python in developing a lot of things such as web development and software development. Python can also be used for rapid prototyping and create web applications. Many famous applications that we are using is started from Python language such as Instagram, Amazon, and so forth. Moreover, Python is a language that is designed for readability so that beginner programmers can understand the language easier. Therefore, we can do a lot of stuff using Python. Now, let's take a look at what a compiler is. The function of a compiler is basically the same as an interpreter which is translating our program to boom machine code. However, the way of compiler translate the program is different from interpreter. A compiler will scan the entire program and translate it into machine code at once. When there is an error detected, the compiler will generate an error message to indicate us about the error. Which C Sharp and C++ are the programming language that use compiler to run their programs. There are all types of programming language but related. C language is being created first and is like the granddad of C Sharp and C++. C code is more prone to vulnerabilities and bugs but can be made lightning fast and deal with low level aspect of your machine. C++ is an attention of C and the goal of creating C++ is to enhance C language and add object-oriented programming capabilities without sacrificing speed and efficiency. C sub is also another attention of C language and its backbone is still C language. C sub compiles to into bytecode rather than machine code. That means it's executed on a virtual computer that translates it into machine code on the fly. Java is a programming language that is owned by Oracle. Java can be used in many platforms such as creating mobile applications, creating games, creating web applications, database connection, and more. It is one of the most popular programming languages in the world. It is easy to learn and simple to use and it also has a great community support. Java is an object-oriented language which gives a clear structure to programs and allow codes to be reviewed, lowering development costs. The feature in Java programming has also attracted a lot of software developers to use it. Now, let us take a step further into the programming part in computer science. The first question we will be wondering is where should we write our program in? Well, 
you can basically just write our program anywhere like notepad but we recommend you guys to write your program in an IDE so you might be wondering what is an IDE IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment and it is a software that allows programmers to write their program in and enable them to quickly build their application with different features that are included in IDE An IDE will typically consist of a source code editor, a local build automation and a debugger why programmer will choose to use IDE? This is because the development process of a program needs a lot of tools to build the entire program. And IDE is equipped with these convenient functions. Without using IDE, programmers will need to select, deploy, integrate, and manage all of these tools separately. Besides, the other advantage of using an IDE is that it allows programmers to know what's the error that is occurring in their program because IDE will help them to detect this error automatically. This is an important process as this error will affect our program while running or even cause the program to crash. Alright, that's end of this video. Before you go, Please give us a like and in our video and remember to subscribe for more interesting video. If you are interested in some mind-blowing engineering stuff, please check our previous video. Bye bye.